Welcome to this Tobacco University video investigating early care of seeded cannabis field. So here we see an example of this. Now this looks like just a field here um, with some drip lines, but there are actual cannabis plants planted here with the drip irrigation and a living cover down between the rows. So let's investigate some of the details associated with this cannabis field here on Tobacco University. All right, let's get into the video here. So first off, when we're looking at a uh, cannabis field or really any field, uh, the preparation is an important part of the process. So the seeding of a field is the last step after much needed field preparation have been completed. Everyone wants to get in, start with the plants. You wanna make sure that the field is ready before you even think about planting. The soil disturbance should be minimal as this can be important for the germination process. You wanna go through and plant a bunch of seeds and then go through and mess up the soil because you'll be damaging what you've worked so hard to accomplish. Early on during the process, root development is just starting, so be sure to avoid the seedlings from drying out. In this case here, we're using drip irrigation. You may have to run it potentially a little bit longer to ensure this very small area where the root is is actually getting adequate water or irrigation to it. Ensure the water is reaching the actual plants, uh, so ensure this small root zone is getting sufficient moisture, uh, and this can be accomplished by a simple field check and making sure you're running and have something installed ahead of time or shortly after you go through and add the um, seedlings here to ensure that they are going to be getting adequate moisture. Uh, and with any planting, you always want to be sure that you're watching for weeds. Early on, cannabis plants are not very competitive with weeds, so you want to make sure your weed control is good throughout the season, but especially early on. We control just prior to planting is important because this will increase the odds of successfully newly emerged cannabis seedlings to develop what's called a good field stand or a good amount of plants uh, within your field there. Now, lastly here, we want to be mindful of if you um, need to overplant because you're using dioecious seeds, meaning 50% will be male. So feminized seeds is encouraged, but still be on the lookout for a potential rogue male plant where as, when it gets closer to flowering time. Even if you're using feminized seed that stays 99% uh, female, this means one out of every 100 plants will be male on average. And if you're growing a large number of plants, that can be a large number of males, and typically you're growing them in a very efficient manner. So if you have a couple males in a field, that could potentially lead to a lot of seeded and a lot of poll successful pollination thus reducing your cannabinoids. So keep in mind, again, if you're using feminized seed, great, but even if 99% or 99.5%, that is not 100%, and you should still be scouting your fields at flowering time. <music> 